crazy in love. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you see me in this outfit on another video, I am knocking out these videos for you guys, okay? Um, and if you're on this video, you're probably wondering, you know, so I posted a video, let me just start from there. I posted a video three years ago about uh, clearing breakouts in two days because I had a breakthrough with this bad baby right here. You remember this? Yes. That video got 23,000 views and a lot of people had questions. I could not just, you know, they were coming back to back almost. So I was like, let me just do another video um, because now I'm more knowledgeable on what this really is. I know more to say. So I have you guys' questions right in front of me. I'm just going to go down and answer some of them. Hopefully I answer your questions about how I still use my Clean and Clear Advantage. It is a acne spot treatment and it has salicylic acid, okay? So first off, let me just say this. Let me just say... Salicylic acid, you know, penetrates, it penetrates your skin and resolves dead skin cells that clogs your pores that create breakouts. So, um, that's basically what it is. Y'all, it's not a cure-all, um, it's not a cure-all type of thing. So, let me just start there. So, my first question is, do you put it on in the morning or at night? At night I do not put this on in the morning no um, it is drying and I don't want to go out in the Sun I do wear SPF but it's just it's just don't feel right to me so I wear it at night where my skin is rejuvenating itself and it to me I feel like it works better at night so that's what I do um let's see somebody said when do you rinse you do not rinse this off do not wash it off. It is a spot treatment. It's going to absorb into your skin. Do not wash it off. It's like a serum almost. But, you know, you don't wash your serums off. You let them penetrate into your skin. So, do not wash it off. Period. Point blank. You don't wash it off. Okay? Um, so, somebody said, I tried it and it turned my acne super red. Uh, and when I washed it, it stayed red. Is that supposed to happen? Okay. Salicylic acid, you know, some of the side effects, um, I have them in front of me. It can be peeling skin, itching, tingling, uh, maybe a burning sensation. Some people have broken out into highs. Um, so if you have some of those symptoms, some of them, like the tingling sensation, that's normal. If you start to have headaches, you know, burning so bad and it doesn't stop, immediately wash it off and if it gets bad of course go to the doctor go to the emergency room you don't want to sit there <sighs> my mom called me you guys take off i'm back interrupted mama okay so i forgot where i was side effects somebody said they were burning or something like that or they turned red so here's the thing if you have oh my gosh if you have really 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 bad acne um I never had really bad acne. I've seen some people on Twitter, they had to get like shots and stuff. Now, if you have that, this is not going to help you. I mean, I'm sorry. It is not going to help. I get little breakouts every now and then, you know, a lot sometimes when I go through things. This helps me because I get small little breakouts, you know. But if you have really bad acne where you have to go to a real doctor and get prescription medicine, this is like drugstore. This is over the counter. It's not going to help. So be aware of that. You know, I don't want to break nobody's hearts, you know. So I'm sorry, you know. So let's see. Someone said something about dark spot dark spots. Salicylic acid isn't used to treat dark spots. So I don't want to get, get y'all hopes up and say, yeah, I use it for dark spots. It does not treat dark spots, at least from my research. So you will have to get something else, something like vitamin C, um, and all that other stuff, you guys. Yeah, that treats dark spots, but and we're an SPF, so remember that. Um, let's see. Someone 
said they can't get it open. I'm sorry. You have to try hard. Um, somebody said I put it all over my face and now my upper eyelid is swollen. Will it go away? Oh, I don't even. I replied to that and I don't remember. Oh, you do not put it over your face, you guys. On this, it says acne spot treatment. It only supposed to be spots. Do not rub this all over your face. It is drying. It is drying. Do not rub it all over your face. Only spot it. What I do? Let me tell you what I do. I wash, exfoliate. If I'm exfoliating that day, I use my serums. I moisturize. Once my moisturize is like moisturize is kind of down, like sunken into my skin a little bit. I spot treat with this. And then I go to bed. You know, I let this dry down too, and then I go to bed. That's what I do. I mean, I do not rub this all over my face. I take a little bit on my finger, and I just dab. That's it. Do not rub this all over your face, for real. Somebody said, does it leave marks? Um, no, not for me. If it does, do not use it anymore. Someone said, it makes your face swollen and itchy. Oh, this the same person that put it all over her face. They used it wrong, so hey. Um... Someone said it burns. That's one of the side effects, especially if your your white head, black head, if you're sore or your pimple, your breakout is open at that point, is going to burn. But it should stop. That's the thing. It should stop. It should not go on for a long time, you guys. No, 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 no. Mine's always stop. I fan and it goes away when in like 30 seconds. So please. <laughs> um also, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. and honestly, it burns when my sores are not open or when I don't think they're open. It still burns a little bit, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt me. Okay, so hey. Someone says, how long did it take to see permanent results? My breakout in this video was gone in two days. I kid you not. It dried it out really fast. Like, it became super small. And when I was, like, scrubbing... I kind of like knocked it off and it was gone. It didn't come back. And I was like, ooh, it dried that breakout down really fast, like for me. So if it don't do two days, because this says some people saw results in like 24 hours. I don't really, um, you know, mm, two, three days, maybe four for some people. But you have to wash your face twice a day. Use this every night. Be consistent. But do not rub it all over your face. Only spot treat, okay? Only spot treat. Um, somebody said, hey, can you tell me how to use it, please? I just did. I'm going to let them know I'm posting this video, too. Um, let's see. I think I answered most of... Because some of these are were repeat questions. So, hey. Hopefully, I answered most of your questions um if you start to vomit or in if something just doesn't seem right you guys please do not use this it is not for everybody it won't work for everyone if you have really bad acne and you actually go to a dermatologist and you know you need prescriptions if your acne is that bad this is like 11 i don't know how much this is it's not going to work like it's not strong enough to work for you. So I only get small breakouts. So it works for me. That's it. Um, Let's see. That's all that I wanted to do. I wanted to give an update. Yes, I still use it. I still consider it a part of my routine because it works for me. It's not too strong, but it's strong enough for what I deal with. So I'm sorry to the ones it didn't work out, but... You know, I'm here just to share my experience and to give y'all that information. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got something from it. If you have any questions, ask away, okay? I'm going to, um, I should have already put the video, the first video up here somewhere. <laughs> okay, but anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.